I kind of have a whoopsie day, which is all I'm going to call it because I've been trying to figure out if dairy is one of the things that I like absolutely cannot have because my body's been changing a lot the past couple of weeks, like probably maybe the past two weeks. And, you know, because I'm painting, like, you know, there's paint on my chest, you know, I have paint on my shorts and tennis shoes. All of that, so I decided to just grab a Snickers bar from the gas station and I forgot to take cheese off of my tacos because I found out recently, like, you know, I have to have the no cheese cheese, which I post on my social media. And I completely forgot because I got Taco Bell last night. And if you get Taco Bell, it's fine if you have the corn tortillas, which is the hard shell. I forgot to take the cheese off of mine and I'm suffering the aftermath today and I thought I would show you guys what it looks like when I have a bad day. So when I woke up this morning, my stomach was flat. There was like maybe a little, little pudge, you know, as I had gone to the restroom, but it, it was flat. And I'm gonna show you guys both with like my shirt not rolled up, my shirt rolled up so you guys can see what happens when I accidentally ingest dairy or any type of gluten because it's one heck of a day today. Okay you guys, so the lighting is going to fluctuate because my bathroom is so oddly lighted. Like there's one mirror right here. So like if I go up and then down, it switches like that. So I'm gonna try to keep it in the same position and we're gonna see how this goes. From the front, you know, it doesn't look that bad, right? doesn't look horrible at all but you see that I'm not pregnant if my back is naturally arched this is not me like going like you know that or anything that's like breaking your back this is my stomach because I accidentally ingested dairy and I'm so upset because my sister's graduation is in a week and I'm bloated. It's horrible. I'm like, oh my god. It's so bad. So now I'm gonna show you guys, like roll my shirt up so you guys can actually see that, you know, I don't have anything under here. This is seriously my stomach rounded and it's a little irritating. It's just, and I look like a mess. I'm so sorry, you guys. Like I've been painting and doing renovations for the past three days. Like I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, so this is all my stomach. You know, my chest is here. It goes zoom. Like, it's just big. Like, this is seriously what my stomach looks like when I bloat. You guys, this is from accidentally eating cheese and I gave into a craving a Snickers bar. But Snickers has never done this until I just ate this bar. Like, you can even see, like, look at this. It's all... Like, and it's not even, like, you can push in a little bit, but if I push in too much more, like, it actually hurts. It's not, this is actually, believe it or not, not the biggest that this has ever been. It's actually been a lot bigger before. Um, more round, like, towards, you know, up here. Like, in this area, it has been way bigger before. But, like I said, that was when I was fully eating gluten and I had to eat gluten. But this is seriously a, a mess up from cheese and a Snickers bar. So dairy is going to be cut out of my diet, like completely it's out. So that's going to be a little bit harder because we all know it's hard enough cutting out gluten, but cutting out gluten and dairy, like something's that I give. So I'm going to have to figure this out, start using like egg substitutes and things like that, which I'm going to be letting you guys know about. This is going to be a little bit of an embarrassing video to post, but it's for your guys' benefit. Yeah, I don't have much more to say. Okay, so I know this is like a really odd angle. I barely got a chance to film this bathroom, but I just want to let you guys know that this is what a bad day looks like for me. Um, I will show you guys, like, I'll take a picture and I'll probably put it, like, up here somewhere or on this side, what my stomach looks like when I wake up so you guys can actually see, like, the full difference because, I kid you not, my stomach wakes up flat and if I accidentally ingest gluten, dairy, or just something that my body doesn't want, this is what my stomach does and it's so hard, especially when I work out. 
Um, I can't tell what progress is being made because even to this day, I still like am a little bloated each day. It really depends on what I eat and you know, like I said, I forgot to take cheese off my tacos. Like I didn't even think about it because I've been experimenting and I really knew for sure that something was up because my stomach was flat before I ate dinner on a taco Tuesday and I had queso fresco and <sighs> these say the least, uh, as soon as I ate that, like my stomach started hurting. I went to the restroom and just in that amount of time, like my stomach was big and puffed out and I was like, I don't want to cut out cheese. So, like, <laughs> I'm from Wisconsin, I'm a cheese head. You know, I, I like my cheese, but I can't have that now. So I'm having cheese substitutes. I have to get egg substitutes. I have lactose free milk. Um, which doesn't seem to bother me, so it's probably just a full-on like lactose intolerance, honestly. I need to stop calling it dairy intolerance because, you know, it's just in layman's terms, lactose intolerance. But I want you guys to know that once again, I'm going through these changes with you. And no, I'm not a professional, but I will say I am going to be giving you guys like all of the advice and all the tips and tricks that I use because... I know the change is hard and I know a lot of people they come on YouTube and they post one video one video on what they're going through how they're feeling what their diagnosis was and that's all fine and well but they don't give like advice on how to keep going how to pursue what what to change in your life and I want you guys to be able to find that through my channel like what you guys can do to make it better and the adjustment easier and as it is I've already started the gluten free living episodes on this channel it's probably going to be like a real statement to my channel because I've come across maybe one other youtuber that talks about IBS and everything and the only thing that makes mine different is I incorporate uh, lactose intolerance. Like, there's a lot and going through the change, you're probably going to end up making a couple of mistakes, boo-boos, whoopsies, whatever you want to call them. You're probably going to make them. Even the best people that have like, you know, been gluten-free or dairy-free, um, have IBS, whatever, for years, they still make mistakes. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. I'm so horrible. No, you're human, you can make mistakes, and all you have to do then is if you find out like, oh my gosh, I can't have this. Don't think about what you can't have or what you can't do. You need to start thinking about what you can have and what you can do to like make a different version of what you can't have. So, okay, maybe you can't have a regular tres leches cake because it has gluten. We'll make a gluten-free tres leches cake by getting gluten-free cake mix. There you go, if you can't have the milk, Get lactose free versions of the milk. If you want like a triple layer chocolate cake, then buy the gluten free chocolate cake mitts and the gluten free frosting. Make it yourself. You're not gonna be able to buy everything that's gluten free and made for you out of convenience. That's unfortunate for those of us that have to, oop. There, that's unfortunate for those of us that like have to make the change because we basically like our convenience goes out the window. Like it's just out the window unless we're gonna go buy chips. Pretty sure we all don't want to live off of chips. Because let me tell you guys, oh, you can only have so much of chips. Like, I, I'm so sick of chips. I'm so sick of veggie chips and fruit chips and dried fruits. And I'm like, oh my god. I just like to get a cheeseburger. <laughs> but no cheeseburger. Use a turkey burger on a gluten free bun with your condiments. All good. That's all you gotta do. Just think about it. What you can't have, make it so you can't have it in your own way. You'll probably have to make it at home, but you know what? Everything's better homemade, so it's better that way. Not the best, but some people need to see the, I guess, true reality of someone that's living with intolerances and IBS. Let me tell you guys, it can be a mess. It can be your best friend. Or it can be a total nightmare if you don't take care of it. And honestly, I would advise taking care of it because if you don't, you're just going to live your life in pain and agony. So take care of it. Do what you got to do. And you'll avoid the mistakes that I made today. So yeah, I'm human. I made a mistake. But tomorrow will be even better, especially starting our day off with a smoothie. Speaking of smoothies, if you have not seen my What I Eat in a Day video, there's such a bomb smoothie in there. So if you guys like that and you guys like smoothies, go check it out. I will have it up here 
somewhere or it's probably over here. I don't really know as I'm not perfected. I haven't perfected this yet. It's so, ah, uh, but I will put it up there. You guys should totally go watch it if you're making a change and you need a gluten-free meal idea. And this has my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They are super easy to make. I am no professional chef and these are so good. So go check it out. Please hit that Subscribe button down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!